what's going on guys today it's going to be a review of the core graph for april of 2020 um i will be looking at this via grand blue en's twitter if you don't know about grand blue en they do a majority of translations for everything involving grand blue and collapse with grand blue so if you're looking for english translations from majority of stuff you can pretty much find it here it's a very good option you also have the reddit as well but um I'll be using them because they also include pictures and it's be just simpler for me to um, just use this overall. So yeah, the link will be in the description if you want to give them a follow. So with that, we'll be looking at that. Uh, one thing here that sadly due to the ongoing, don't want to mention this word because it gets demonetized on YouTube. Uh, Grand Blue Fantasy um, Extra Fest has been canceled for the month of May. Um, the one that was taking place in August will, has not been canceled as of yet, but can it be canceled? So I hope not, um, would be very unfortunate, but you know, with what's going on in the world right now, most likely it will be canceled. In the upcoming, uh, well, let's start from here. So in April 7th through April 13th, we will have Proving Grounds, which is pretty cool. It will be water. We haven't had Proving Grounds in a, quite a while, so. Um, apparently, it's gonna be Bony Toe and Demon Bream, uh, which would be kind of fun, I guess. I don't remember the bosses for the last Proving Grounds. There's probably a video of it. I think Salt has a video. I, I, I don't remember it too well, though. But I will be actually going for ranking this time. Um, I did rankings for the uh, April Fool's event, and it was pretty fun. So I think I'll start going for rankings and all content. I give I'll give it a try with some little Bella meme. I don't know what I plan on doing, but I'll give it a try. I don't have came, but I'll make it work. At least on the account I'm going to be trying on. As with last Earth favorite proving grounds, there will be a bonus for counter actions. So keep in mind that the idea that you want to bring characters that can counter. They will give bonus like Sarasa, it's a counter character. The free unit Paris, um, who was actually pretty good if I remember correctly. He has like six counters, so stuff like that. And we will have the ability to get Claren as a weapon. Um, it's the Proving Grounds weapon that we got last time. It has skill cap up, which is pretty good. Um, it's a water gun, so it's good for like Dr. Main Hand. It has dodge on the Ogi. It's a decent weapon. I use it for these full auto Yubaha high level. Um, I haven't cleared it yet. I'm at like 37, but I, I would try and get out. It's, it's really not that bad. And it's gonna be a new Biten weapon. Um, we don't have any info on a new upcoming weapon though, so I can't really give you an opinion on it. Uh, if I had to mention, I hope it's a harp. Water needs a good harp or an ax for Lumberjack. So that's what I'm looking for the most. Uh, dagger will be fine too. Water can use an, a new dagger, but I do hope the weapon is decent. It's something that, because right now water is kind of lacking on main hands. So as long as it's a good main hand, I think it will be fine. Doesn't really matter what weapon type it is. It's just that water does not have some of the best main hands in the game. So getting a good main hand is like what we need for water. Next, we have a um, side story for Miscolored Memories. Morph and Phobie are going to be in here again. The SR units. These, these units used to carry me actually in the very beginning of the game in 2016. They used to give like guaranteed TA, I believe, and bonus damage for a turn using their sleep mechanic and stuff. And it was very, very viable. Um, it helped me quite a ton early, early on in 2016 when I first started playing this game. Uh, 2020. Nah. They won't have any use, but in 2016, they did really, really well. They also gave mirror image as well. Uh, here we have in the upcoming rerun of Three Zeros, um, the uh, third part of the What Makes the Sky Blue series. The white plume used for uncapping Sandophon to five stars will be available again. Honestly, I wish they stopped doing this. But just like how they did with Zeta, I, nobody wants to have a unit five star locked behind an event. That's so such bad design on so many levels, it screws over many, many new players. It bothers me a ton. And 
please somebody tell KMR to stop doing this. This is not good. Anyways, um, the speaker is Bangle which can be traded for an Atma weapon will only be available if you do not have one. If you had one, the quest will be awarded 50 crystals. So unfortunately, we will not be getting another Atma weapon um, or Ultima from this rerun. However, when they do implement it into the side stories, I do think we will get another one. So we still have a chance of getting another one. Right now, I think currently the most you can get is six. If you trade in the proud item, um, personally, I don't use Ultimas too much, but something to keep in mind. Hmm. Okay, what's this? Ah, yes. So let's talk about the upcoming GW changes, right? So in the upcoming United Fight, there will be rewards for personal honors past 90 million up to 1 billion. You see here, so honors. When you hit 100 million honors, you're going to get 10 champion merits. 10 champion merits are, it's not that great, honestly, for 100 million, but it's not like the worst thing in the world or anything. At 200 million, you get 1,000 crystals just for like metric meter. 1,000 crystals around $10 because, you know, 3K crystals, about 30 USD. So let's give you an idea. So people can quantify how much farming is it worth it to go that far for 200 million, depending on the player. Um, generally, if you're going for top 70K, it's about the 400, 500 mark right now. Well, it always goes up generally every GW. So yeah, at 300 million, we have 30 half pots, half elixirs, whatever you want to call them. This is whatever, to be honest, you've probably spent way more than that to get to that point anyway. 400 million, we have one gold spell book. That's cool. You get more spell books from GW now, making it easier to get your characters to level 100. Um, that's okay. 500 million, we have another 1,000 crystals. So if you get the 500 million, then you will be getting uh, 2,000 crystals. Generally, right now, if you max out GW, I believe you get about 6K. So right now that would be pushing it up to 7k my fault can't do map 8k i give you a heads up it's currently like 4 a.m my time so please cut me some slack next we have that 600 million it's five supreme merits um honestly very lackluster uh so i don't have much to say about supreme merits it's like the worst thing you can get at 700 million, we'll be getting one red ring, which is okay. Um, keep in mind, that I believe 90 million gives you a red ring already. So you got to go with 610 million more for another. But I do welcome more red rings. Um, free rewards are free rewards, in my opinion. 800 million, we have two Omega Anima. Now, the boss is going to be different depending on the LD of the fight. So I'm guessing because this event is going to be fire. We're using water team to be Shiva. Next one will probably be your Europa and then Grimnir, depending on the boss fight. So Europa, Gimp, Grimnir, Alex, Avatar, and Metatron. 900 million, we get 200 quartz. I'm assuming it's going to be the same Ellie again. So for this one, it be fire. Then we're going to have a water, earth, wind, light, and dark. 200 is kind of low. It's like that of the SSR gotcha summons. But it's free, can't complain. You don't have to grind it if you don't want to, right? And at the big 1 billion, 1,000 more crystals, bringing the total up to around 9K if you fully min-max GW, which is, you know, it's not bad, 9K, that's a three 10 pulls, 10 GWs, and uh, you get a spark, right? So it, it's good, but the amount of, autism you need to get to this point um and grinding is it worth it personally i think 500 million is not that bad depending on how strong you are um 200 million for the weaker players um and people who are brand new to the game well do your best now we have some controversy coming in here in the upcoming united fight there will also be a hard cap of boxes opened there will be no boxes past 45. This is ridiculous. I'm trying to be very calm about it just so I don't get demonetized, but 
Camar, bro. I don't know what you were thinking. You add in this one billion reward system, and then you limit the boxes past 45. The only thing that's hurt is people who are new players and people who went are going for blue skin. So I, I really think that's a really bad design. I don't know why they're limiting it to 45, but they want to reward people for going past 1 billion. Generally, if you're in the 1 billion range, depending on how many um, EX plus you did to get there, you're already in round box 60. So on, on average, box 60 and up. Sometimes box 70, it depends on the player but and how many EX plus they did. But you're well above that. So the fact that it's cap at 45 um he's probably gonna get a lot of backlash for this and i really hope they change their mind and let players just grind out as much as they want if they want to hard cap it hard cap it at 88 in my opinion in addition due to the skill shard and jewel buff there will be fewer skill items in each spot replaced by supreme merits and champion merits this is fine it helps a lot of new players who are having a hard time getting the merits I get asked this question a lot on how to farm them, so I think this is okay. Even though personally Supreme and Champion does not help me, it helps new players a lot, a lot therefore I don't care. The Musket's Dust will now be available for all 45 boxes. I recommend never getting this item in the first place. Um, very few people will ever really need this, so um, that's just my recommendation. You don't have to follow it, just throwing it out there. New titles will be available based on how many total honors um total unite and fight tokens you have earned my fault i read honors excuse me all players will start at zero count this unite and fight and then the game will count from now on i think that's ridiculous so they want us to keep track of our token count however they want to limit the box count i, I don't know what's going on like th this seems like counterproductive and one post is oh, like we're going to limit people from grinding too hard because a majority of GW is boxing. It's really just a boxing event, trying to maximize your boxes at the higher ranks. The fights themselves, they're, they're important, but for a lot of players, the real thing about GW is boxing, right? But down here, they want to keep track of how much you autism your boxes, right? to get to this point, but it, just, it seems like why? Why keep track now when we're kind of limited on how far we can even go anyway? Seems pointless, maybe there's something new, um, but I don't understand. Nightmare 150 tokens will be increased. Not like it matters, because I'm limited anyway. I get more tokens to not use, great. After, here, here's another controversial um, part. After April's United Fight, the next United Fight will be in June, which means that May will be empty. And the enemies will be Wind and Fire will be favored. So we're playing Fire. Very controversial because they are skipping Earth again. I don't know why they're skipping Earth again. Um, personally, this was one GW, I believe, where they changed the LE because they skipped an LE by mistake. So it's possible, I believe, that they can um, still give us an Earth GW. I don't remember when that happened. If any of the older players remember, can just type it in the comments, please. But I personally don't remember up top of my head. I do remember there was one GW where they did change the LE. So it could be possible that they can still change the LE. But right now, we do have a Fire GW coming up after Water. So, yeah. Get your fire grids ready, your twigs, your um, Benedias, your your Exabas, all that, because we're going to Fire Town. You can see the mouth faces. Oh my God! I don't want to go. To, I don't want to be scrolling through Twitter, bro. Luckily, I got we got lucky here because scrolling through Twitter could be real bad. <laughs> it could be real bad, but we got lucky. Okay, here we go. Now we have the six dragon advents. Um, on four two, we have a water dragon. So keep in mind, get your earth team ready for it. I will be doing a free to play video with it. Um, full free to play, like I've done every other dragon. Four nine, we have the earth dragon. Um, 
423, we have the Light Dragon. If you notice, there's a gap between there. I believe because of Proving Grounds and Guild Wars, they decided to give us a break. And then on 423, we will get the Light One. And then 428, we'll be getting the Dark Dragon. And they give us pictures of the Light Dragon. Kind of reminds me of a Yang Zeng from um, Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't remember the name of it. And then we have a uh, Dark Dragon with some bones, triple heads. Looks kind of cool, not gonna lie. I think that's Skull down there, yeah. Next, we have April's five star uncapped grand unit. Is We have April's five star uncapped unit, which is Grand EO. Uh, personally, I will be waiting on this unit quite a bit. I'm hoping that she can become a really strong unit to carry me in far high level, to be honest, for my solo run. So hopefully she's good. Um, I wish she came out earlier, like before GW, but I mean, I can't predict the future, right? So, but we're getting her now. That means Yugen and uh, Rosetta should be coming rather soon. I don't want to mention anything because who knows? I, I wouldn't be like, oh, Yugen should be around the corner. <clears throat> Oh, my fault. Oigen, excuse me. Uh, he should be around the corner, but, you know, side games, they do what they want, right? And the upcoming update to the Primal and Olden series, right? Artemis and Ancient Artemis will be updated. So what's going to happen with these weapons? These The bow for... Uh, the bow for Apollo. It's getting a attack and a midi skill, kind of similar to Tmot Malice weapon and Tmot's gun. My fault. This is where this is why you don't do it when you sleep, guys. But they're getting a, a, a skill similar to Balax and Tmot gun. So it's gonna be attack, large and small and midi. Maybe we don't know the values right now, but it's gonna be might and a midi. So. If it's like medium, medium, pretty good. Um, large, small, pretty okay. Um, as long as it's not like medium, small, it should be a good weapon regardless. As a reminder this month, the uncapped for primal and old and primal weapons so keep in mind, you got to do the tier one high level raid. Uh, these raids are a lot easier now. Um, you can just host them. It's 18 people now, so you should have no problem clearing them. So to keep that in mind, you do need to have clear these raids to get their four star uncap. Have hosted it, right? It looks like you have to host these raids, I believe. Recommended. You should be hosting it regardless because they do give a... Um, they give a chest where you can um, pick items and sometimes you can have the weapon in there. We do have new EMP support skills for certain characters in the game. Mirror and light is really big. So you used for a lot of setups for light as well. Korwa is okay. Richard is cool. Aster is okay. Bridget and Cordelia, whatever. Philly, whatever her name is. Friday is pretty decent. Um, she could be used for EX Plus because they're unworldly on Friday. She could be used. Lancelot and Vayne, Summer, Cassius, and Leona. Leona, I used Leona in the Spear comp. She was okay. Even though she's an SR. But we here's the bigger units here. We have Claris, which is really good. Um, anything Claris to get, it's just extra on, on the cake. That is her. Melissa Bella, another solid unit. Anything she gets would be the extra on her cake. Um, I'm looking for more skill cap on her, personally, but I don't know what she can use. Hellas, Fairy, Grand, Yule, Vera, Mackie, Medusa, Gotcha, which is the one we just got in, in May last year, I believe. Bal, Morigna. And then here's the real stellar, stellar units that come and probably break the game, maybe. Kalulu. Big one, right? Kalulu skill cap would be broken. Um, I don't know what else, but boost the skill cap is going to be broken. Helen Mal, Sandifon, Caliostro, Europa Summer, Jessica, Horny Lady, Alex, Anthra, by the way. Uh, I'm calling her Horny Lady. 
she's I mean, all these units here are stellar units, right? All of them. Even Jessica. Jessica's not, like, broken by any means, right? But she's good for full auto. So, I feel like all the units are good. So, them getting their EMP skill, um, just makes them better. Hopefully, no one gets cucked or anything. But we'll see when it comes out. Just make sure you have your character slimed up and ready, just in case their EMP skills are broken. Any of these characters here. A lot of them are really solid, right? Claris is solid, Melissa Bell is solid, Fairy is solid, and stuff like that. The weapon series page in the store will be updated this month with extensive changes to guide players to where and how to pick up weapons they're looking for. So this is probably for like the um, champion class weapons, Ultima, and stuff like that. So this is more for new players. Um, personally, I won't really be benefiting much from this, but it's there. Okay, big thing. The Awakening levels will consume either treasure or gems. The first Awakening level will be level 1. So you, when you awaken a unit, they awaken to level 1. And characters can be leveled up to 5. Recommending people awaken your highest DPS character immediately. 6 units like him. Um, Octo, uh, Siete, the big boys. The big boys need their awakening immediately. Awakening will raise attack, HP, CA damage, and more. So get your big damage characters first and go from there. The prestige pending cap will be raised from 5,000 to 10,000. This is great for people who have been like hoarding. Um, just having more cap is nice, you know, sometimes people just don't want to spend instantly or they're waiting till the monthly reset. So now you can hold more and pick up all your monthlies quickly. Um, other updates coming after this month, update the scale level. Side games understand that there needs to be more updates to the skill leveling system. Oh, really? Almost like we need more than 20 items or something like that. Hmm, wonder if that would help. They are looking into being able to raise a weapon multiple skill levels at once and other improvements. They request patience, like how we are patient with Relink, right? 2025, guys. Relink going to come out for the PS4, dude. Can't wait. Battle System 2.0 issues. Side games are looking into characters who have abilities that interact with mode gauges and chain bursts, which do not work in V2. They are looking into having these abilities replaced in V2 battles. So units like Rackham, who needs um, duration, the boss to be in overdrive to activate, I'm assuming, and uh, Chain Burst being like Silva, Light, units like that. Okay, here's the big one. The Special Revenant Weapon Skins, which were originally scheduled for April 30th, have been pushed to May. So, very, very big. Um, we get a little bit more time to prepare because you're about to hear this list of things you need to get done. First, you need to require uh, acquire guider to the eternal edge skin, meaning the blue skin, the skin you see in the background, right, right there, uh, right there, um, that girl. So first, you need to go SS blue. Second, as well as dark opus weapons to level 200. So that's 12 gold bars for each Opus weapon. All of them need to be done. Solo clears of Dark Rapture on every element. This is probably the biggest thing here and probably the hardest because each solo requires a lot of fine tuning depending on what you have. Um, the more gimped your setup is, the harder it's going to be. Big ones could be fire, like magna builds for fire, good luck. Um, that's going to be a big one. Um, personally, I think Earth can be a problem for people, especially Magna Earth. So that's going to be a hard one, too. We already have a Water Magna clear. We have Wind Magna. We have a Light Magna. There's no Dark Magna clear, but I think Dark Magna can do it. It's just that people... Well, there's a Dark Magna clear using Vasharaga, but I don't think there's any normal Dark Magna clears. So, um, just know that we are going to need each of these completed. 
So I will be doing them on stream. I am going for this. I didn't rush the blue skin when it first came out because I didn't care nearly as much. This time I will start caring and I will be going after it on my stream. Once all the requirements have been met, a new quest will unlock, which must be cleared in order to unlock the weapon skins. This is big, 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 big. So the quest itself has to be up. I don't even know what word to describe the bat shit insane level of difficulty that quest is going to be because the amount of work just to get to the quest is ridiculous. So I expect some crazy level of difficulty just to beat the quest, right? The weapons are just like the golden shrimp. They are only meant for skinning and have no purpose in the grid. And that's it for the updates. Um, as for the merch, I don't cover merch, but I'll look at it. Nah, I'm not looking at it. I don't, I'm tired. It's like six. It's late. Okay, so those are my opinions. Tell me how you guys feel. If you like the video, um, like it and the YouTube things and subscribe and all that jazz. Appreciate it. Um, give Grand Blue Ian a follow if you're not following them already. Thank you for the translations and stuff. Uh, I'm dead. With that, though, I'm calling this video over. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.